Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So today we got some big news. Today I'm making a video on the Redskins possibly being forced to switch their team name. I'm also going to be showing you guys a video of Native Americans talking about if they think the Redskins name is offensive and if they think the Redskins should change their name. And if the Redskins do need to change their name, I'm going to be showing you guys a few alternate names and alternate team uniforms. If you guys are new, subscribe for Redskins and NFL content. So let's get right into the video. And I know this is a controversial topic. I do get both sides of the story, and it is a very, very fragile situation. But let's get started. So a report yesterday from a few different sources, the investment firms and shareholders worth a collective $620 billion have asked Nike, FedEx, and Pepsi to end their relationships with the Redskins unless the team changes its name. So this is a huge deal because if this does happen, and again, big if, this could cost Daniel Snyder a lot, a lot of money and end up forcing him to sell the team if they do indeed pull out. But the big thing is all teams really have partners with Nike and with Pepsi. And I'm not sure about FedEx, but if these guys end their relationship with the Redskins, it would it would offend a lot of the other teams in the NFL because they're partners with the whole NFL. So if they're not partners with one team, it's going to offend some teams and they might, I don't know, it might not happen be just because of that, but it is a huge issue and that might force the Redskins uh, to change your name just because of the amount of money that they might be losing if these firms and shareholders do uh, pull out. Also, another report said, unless Daniel Snyder changes the Redskins name, RFK, the RFK site is off the table, which he really, really has been pleading for. He really wants the new Redskins stadium, which is going to take a while, at least till 2025. I think the FedEx Fields lease is over in 2027. But he really wants a stadium in D.C., especially uh, at the RFK site where they played before. And I don't think D.C. is going to allow the Redskins to play there unless they do change the name, which is a big issue because we all, or at least most of us, want to play in D.C. Definitely not in Maryland. Virginia, Northern Virginia would be okay, but we would all really want D.C. because we are a Washington team. All the other teams, DC United, the Nationals, the Capitals, the Wizards, all, at least I think all of them do play in DC. So we're the only one that plays outside of DC. We play in Landover, Maryland. So I think Dan Snyder definitely wants to do this, but I don't know if he's going to do this, if it means changing the name, but also if he's forced to, if he really wants this, if he wants a stadium in D.C. and he's going to be losing a lot of money if he doesn't do this, then he might do it because it would be two. It would be a win-win and one loss for him because he would get the stadium in D.C. He would get his money back, but he would be changing the name, which he really, really does not want to do. So I don't know. I'm kind of in the middle. I see both sides of the uh, story because even though some Native Americans don't think it's offensive, a lot of them do. Here's a poll that Redskins Today did, uh, a great Redskins uh, reporter, and 9,000 people voted in it, uh, and he said, do you think the Redskins should change their name? 40% said yes, and 60% said no, and most of his followers are Redskins followers, and this guy right here, I kind of agree with him. He said, uh, yeah, honestly, not for the usual reasons, but just because I don't think it would hurt anyone as much it would help, would lift all the bad PR, and it would make just that much more proud to be a fan. I kind of agree with him because the Redskins PR is so bad right now just because of a bunch of issues we've been losing, the team name and other things. So it would lift, uh, it would help with the PR, but a lot of people have been lifelong Redskins fans and it just would, they haven't had anything else. It's just been the Washington Redskins for their whole life and it would be a huge adjustment period because we would have to change most likely have to change all the uniforms, have to change everything, rebrand everything, and it would be hard. We would definitely keep the same colors, burgundy and gold, in my opinion, but it would be hard. But I think it definitely is a realistic possibility that the Redskins have to change their name. I don't know when it could happen, but because of all the uh, social justice is justice issues going around and this uh, situation has been going around uh, for a long time, it's been 
2013 is really when it really started, and Dan Snyder did not want to do it. He said, I am not changing this name, but he might be coming around, and we'll see. I really want to hear your guys' perspective. If you guys want to change the name or not, let me know down in the description. So I'm going to talk for a little more, and then we're going to go into the video and then show you guys a few uh, potential uniforms and uh, team names. So, yeah. But like I said, if the companies do indeed pull out and pull out of the Redskins, don't be partners with the Redskins, then it might force Dan Snyder to change a name because that's a lot of money being lost. And I don't think he would be able to stay afloat for a long time if all these companies and sponsors are leaving the Redskins. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, it is a delicate situation. But now I'm going to be showing you guys the video of a few Native Americans talking about what it means to them. It actually makes me feel proud. It uplifts my spirit. It reminds me of my cultural background and my heritage and where I come from. It's never been an issue for for myself or anyone in my family. Why? Why do they want to change the name? It's not a big deal. But Redskins, it's it's a powerful name. It's it's a warrior name. To break it down into something it's not, the intent has never been, never been, to degrade people. Because it represents a strong, majestic warrior feel proud about that they are associated with a team that's a professional team at the highest level of football. In the emblem, it shows a strong warrior, and um, our ancestors have always taught us to um, be strong and be proud of who you are. I feel proud to be a Redskin. The Redskins name, it's always been a term um, that we felt where it was a, a unifying term. And we do call ourselves skins, too, which is a drive from Redskins. I feel like it's too insignificant when there's bigger topics to talk about in Indian country. Our issues that we're more concerned about, health care, crime on the reservation. Alcohol, drugs, uh, just lack of uh, employment. We have like four or five families living in one house. They've never asked Native Americans. I mean, it's all it's somebody else who knows nothing about us trying to speak for us, and it's, it's kind of an insult. To me and my kids, we don't think of it derogatory or anything. It don't bother me in any way. It's not an issue with us. If we can help in any other way, it would be greatly appreciated, but the mascot issue isn't an issue for us, not for Native Americans. Okay, so you guys just saw the video, and it was a little bit one-sided because it was Made by the Redskins, I do believe. So it's only showing the perspective of the people that do not think it's offensive. So there's a whole other side to the story. But for the most part, a lot of them thought that it wasn't offensive and they were proud of it. I would like to see a new study coming out of what they think about it now. What percentage of Native Americans think it's offensive. But now on to the potential new Redskins name or new uh, DC team name or uh, uniform. So... The one that's been going around the most is the Washington Red Spears, which I do like because you keep the the first, like the red that we have with the Redskins and you got the burgundy and gold and it doesn't look bad. I like the logo right there. Obviously, obviously it would be different because it's not the fans designing, but I do like that design right there. The logo looks a little old, but it looks decent too. I think uh, with some professionals, they could get it. A little more modern and I like the uniforms though I really like the uniforms kind of looks like our uniforms now but obviously with the Red Spears logo I think it looks decent uh, there's a couple others there's a secondary logo alternate logo so pretty good the helmet looks nice too I think it would be nice let me know what you guys think there's a couple other uniforms right there home away and alternate and a couple other names I think would be nice is the Bra Washington Braves, which we originally were, or the Washington Warriors. There's a couple other teams. I think I saw Red Wings or Red Tips, something like that. Let me know what you guys think. I, It's hard. It's really hard for change. That's just life in general. But I don't know. If if it means all this bad PR rep is gone and that we get a, get a new stadium in D.C., it might be worth it, but it is definitely, definitely going to be hard to adjust. But, you know, if it does offend a lot of people, we might have to do it because, you know, yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I do hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's a different video. I know it's a little bit controversial. I Right now, I don't think the Redskins are going to change their name. But who knows? If more pressure, if pressure from the NFL itself 
a lot of people are making a huge deal with it. Like the national media actually is talking about us because of that. So if um, if it gets to a, be a bigger deal, Snyder might be forced to do it, especially if he loses the money and he isn't able to get his stadium in D.C. Let me know what you guys think about the new uh, possible new names. I do like the Red Spears. That's probably my favorite one out of the three. Maybe the Warriors. I don't know, but you already got the Warriors as a uh, basketball team and you got the Braves as a baseball team. Let me know though. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please smash the like button, turn on your post notifications, subscribe if you're new and peace.